Shannon and here we are going to solve this uh, problem and as we can see here that the question says that the figure below shows a question of a right pyramid. Copy the elevation and draw question. Roman figure 1 says that the complete plan, uh, Roman figure 2 says complete auxiliary plan viewed along arrow X. So that those are the questions that we are to, uh, to answer using this diagram here so and as you can see here let's talk about the dimensions on this uh, figure uh, the uh, base um, the distance from here to here is 80 millimeters distance from here to here is 80 millimeters and then so we have that the height is 80 millimeters the distance of this point from the base is 40 millimeters and then we have the distance from year to year is 18 millimeters uh, sorry 10 millimeters is 10 millimeters and the distance of this point from the base is 30 millimeters and the object is being viewed at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal and then this line here is inclined at an angle 30 degree that is the cutting plane that was used to cut this part is at 30, 30 degree to the horizontal why this one is at 60, 60 degree to the horizontal so we are going to make use of these dimensions to answer the questions given that we are asked to draw the complete plan and also complete auxiliary plan viewed along arrow x this is arrow x as you can see here so let's start and see how it goes so the first thing that we need to do is to draw a vertical center line so i will draw a vertical center line okay so okay so this vertical center line then we'll come up a little bit then we'll draw horizontal center line horizontal center line okay so next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to take 40 millimeters on our ruler so because it's a square so it's a square it's a square pyramid so the length of side is um 80 millimeters length of side is 80 millimeters so we take 40 millimeters so we take 40 millimeters okay so with the compass then i'll put at this point here I make an arc here so making an arc here so making an arc here and then i'll make an arc here okay so then the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to draw horizontal line so like this and up here also i will draw horizontal line okay and then so i will draw a vertical line so i'll draw a vertical line so like this and here also i will draw a vertical line okay so we have the base of the pyramid as you can see here so if i number this point as one so this point as one this point as two this is point three and this is point four and then i'm going to connect the corners together so i'm connecting uh this corner three and corner one together like this and then i will connect corner uh, two and four i will connect them together like this okay all right so we have connected the corners as you can see here the next thing that we are going to do is for us to draw the elevation so that is given elevation as we are instructed so i need to come up a little bit and i will draw horizontal line like this so the height is 80 millimeters i will take 80 millimeters here on this center line this is 80 millimeters so then i'm going to draw a vertical line from this line one and two to meet this horizontal line and i will also do the same thing here to meet the horizontal line so then this is one prime two prime so that is this point here and this is three prime and four prime so that is this point here so now we we'll connect point three prime four prime together with the apex of the pyramid like this then we we'll also connect point one prime and two prime with the apex of the pyramid and have it like this okay so the next thing that we are going to do is that we have to take the distances that we have there so 
for this side here so the cutting plane that touched this side is um so we have the distance to be 13 millimeters from the base so this is 13 millimeters and there is one that we have here to be 42 millimeters 42 millimeters so here we have what we have 42 millimeters here okay so here i'm going to draw a horizontal line to touch this side and then coming here i will draw a horizontal line to touch this side here okay so now so i will take my 30 degree cell square to draw the cutting plane so on this part so the cutting plane on this part so 30 degree so i will set it like this and i will draw the cutting plane to meet this at this point like this okay so this is the cutting plane then the other one is we have it from this point here so we have it so it is inclined at angle 60 degree to the horizontal so we draw this like this okay so we have this all right so then uh what we have here so we have uh this uh, part of the cotton plane that goes from here to here okay so now so what we have left this part is cut off and what we have left is what we have to uh, take here so we have this so i pause the video and bring out the feasible outlines of the figure both the front elevation and the plan all right so the next thing that we are going to do after i brought out the feasible outlines of the figure both the front elevation and the plan as you can see here so we are asked to draw the complete plan so the complete plan that we are asked to draw is to show the cut or the shape of this uh, cut part here in the plan that is what they mean by uh, the complete plan and what we need to do is to take a set square and then we bring it to this point we set at this point here on the front elevation so this is line one and two so with the set square being set at this point here so we are going to draw a vertical line so we draw a vertical line from here down okay so uh, it touches this is line one and this is line two so it touches line one at this point and it touches line two at this point so we have this point and then we have this point for one and two so we make it a thick line at once let's do that at once okay then um so we make it a thick line at once then let's come to that of three and four so three prime four prime so that is on this side so we come to this point and we draw a vertical line down here so this is point three so this is point three here and here is point four here okay so let's make it a thick line so we make it a thick line at once okay so then we need to bring out the shape of this part we need to bring out the shape of this part so um so how can we do that so there will be a line if you visualize the solid itself there will be a line at this point and there will be a line at this point here so as we have this line that we have here is we have it at this point so we have a line at this point we have a line at this point so how can we get that line drawn so this is how we are going to do it so what we need to do here is to draw a horizontal line from this point to meet this and as we have drawn from here to meet this so those are the lines that we are going to take and we are going to see how the shape will come out for the complete plan so we take this distance from here from the center to this point so i'll just take it like this so extending my compass to this point here like this then i will put at the center here i'll put at the center here on this center and then i'll make an arc at this point and i'll make an arc here okay then i will take this distance from here to here from here to here okay then I'll put at the center here again and make an arc here and make an arc here. So if you look at what we have here, so let me show you something. So look at what we have here. So for the for this one that we have, this point 
and this point that we have. If you look at this line, this line is connected to this point. So what we are going to do is that we are connecting this point three to this point here, the first one that we made. So we connect it like this. <coughs> Excuse me. So we connect it like this, and then we also connect point four. We connect it to this point because both point four and point three on this line are connected to this point. That's why we are doing that. So we connect it like this. Okay. So then this point uh point this is one and two they are connected to this point so we connect so this is point two so i will connect it together with this point here so and i will connect point one together with this point so we have this then so here we are going to have a thick line okay so that is the line that we have here. We have it on this surface, so we have this line being connected together. Okay, and then so we also need to make this line. So we make the thick line. That is the plan of this line here. So this is it. So we make the thick line. Also, we make this line a thick line. So that is the complete plan that we're asked to draw. Now we go for question. Question Roma forgot that says that we should draw the auxiliary plan viewed in direction of arrow X. So don't forget that the arrow is inclined at an angle 45 degree to the horizontal. Therefore, we are going to make use of our 45 degrees S square to draw a line from this point, from this point. From this point, this point, this point, and also this point. So that is what we are going to do now for us to produce the auxiliary plan. So now with my 45 degrees S square, I'm going to draw a line like this. And this from this point. Then I will bring it to this point and draw a line from here. Okay, so the rest I'm going to do it while I pause the video. When I'm done, you will see it. Alright, so I produced the or projected the lines. So now, so the next thing that we need to do to draw the auxiliary plan is for us to take our 45 degrees S square. So we are going to draw perpendicular lines to this line. Since the lines were projected with 45 degrees side of our S square, so we still use 45 to do or to draw the perpendicular line because 45 plus 45 will give us 90 degrees. So I will draw a center line here like this. So this line is perpendicular to each of this line. So this point here, I'm going to call it point zero. So I'll call it point zero. So that is this point here on the plan. So now we take our 45 degrees S square. So we are going to take a uh, look at it. So uh, this point four and point three. So is along this line. So this line here that we have for three and four is along this line. So we take our S square. I take distance from 0 to 4 or from 0 to 3, anyone that I like. Anyone that I like. So I will take it like this. Okay. So then I will put at this point 0 here. So um, I put at this point 0. Then we draw. So we make an arc here. And then we make an arc here. Okay. So then for... Also, you can see line 1 and 2 here. So, we follow this line. So, do line 1 and 2 and the line that I drew here, they are very close, but we have to look at it very well. So, this is the line. So, I just put it at the center here. Okay. So, I will make an arc here. And then, I will make an arc here like this. Okay. So, we have those points. So, what I want to do now is that let us be bringing out the uh, the... Uh, line one by one so this is point one here okay and this is point two this is point three and this is point four so let's bring out the thickness so we are going to uh, make this line a thick line so connecting uh, this together
header that is two and three so we also connect uh one and four together like this okay so then we also make this line a thick line that is line three and four okay then line uh one and two that line will be hidden it will be hidden from us to be at the back so it will be hidden from us so we need to draw it with short dashes line okay so we draw with short dashes line like this okay okay so we draw with short dashes line so that's it so the next thing that we are going to do is that um so this part that is cut that is at this point so we also see that surface this surface here as we have here so we are going to see it also in the auxiliary plan so we take the distance from this line zero here to four or to three anyone that we like so we take it like this okay then we follow this line okay so we bring it to this point and we make an arc here then we make an arc here like this so what we are going to do now is that so we are going to connect uh, this point together so we connect this point together as we have this line joining this point as we have this line join this point for three and for four so we connect this together like this okay then we connect this together connect this together like this okay so this is um, so this line as we see it here also so we also draw it here in the auxiliary plan so it goes like this all right so so we have that so the next one that we are going to do is to locate this point is to locate this point so if you look at it you follow this so we have the point here and here so that is this point and this point so we take a uh, compass and take this distance from here to here okay then we follow this line so coming like this so we have what we have this point so we make an arc here and then we make an arc here okay so i believe you can see that so now so we are connecting this point as we have that this point is connected to this point and this point is connected to this point so we also connect this point together so this point and this point connect them like this and then so we also connect this point together like this okay so if you look at this point this point is connected to this point as we see here and the distance is from here to here it's from this center to this point here where we connected this line one and where we connected this line two so we take that distance okay so we take this distance from the center to this point here like this and then we follow this point here so we follow this line so coming like this so we have the center here and then we make an arc here okay so we make an arc here like this all right so now so as we have this uh, point being joined with this so we also connect this point together so this point we connect together with this okay and then we connect this point together okay there's something that i ought to have done before this so there is a line so this line that we see here from here to from this point to this point is along this line so i have to make this line a thick line like this and then so also this line that connect these two points together like this so we have it along this line if we have followed it from this line as we have located the points here so we connect this together we make this a thick line like this okay all right then we need to locate this point this point we need to locate it so that is along this line one and two so which is from here to here so what we do is that with a compass so we put at the center here and we extend to one or we extend to two we extend to one or we extend it to point two so we have what we have this point so we put it at this point so if you follow this line so we put it here and we make an arc here so we make an arc here so as this line 
is connected to this point this line is connected to this point so also so we connect so this point together these two points we connect them together like this and then we connect this together and then so this line we made a thick line so that's how we're going to see it if we have the solid or the truncated solid before us okay so now so what we just need to do as we have connected line four of point four with this and this so we need to connect uh this point one so we connect together with this point like this and then we connect point two together with this point So this is how the auxiliary plan will look as we are instructed. So this is the elevation. Sorry, this is the plan, complete plan. This is the elevation as you saw it, the way we did it, the way I got this shape drawn. And then this is the auxiliary plan as we are instructed. I thank you and keep on practicing. God bless you.